Welcome, student, to on our online class, class 9 student. Now we study chapter mathematics, a subject mathematics chapter 3, coordinate geometry, coordinate geometry. Now we look at in your class, students are sitting in some row and column. How many row and how many column are arranged in class? Then any suppose one festival is going or one meeting. In the meeting, number of the person are the gathering and how the person are sitting is proper form by some number of row and some column. This type some row and column we should be. Then that will become the very look like beautiful. Okay. This type. Now we study Cartesian system. In Cartesian system before your exercise 3.1 is just only introduction I can say you now so this is not necessary now in Cartesian system now first we take the normal line here in the normal line here I take a horizontal line in horizontal line suppose it's x x dash here is our 0 here are positive integer 1 2 3 4 this type and here our negative integer minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so okay and another i take a vertical line this vertical line is the y y dash middle become the 0 upper portion positive integer 1 2 3 4 and here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 here is our vertical line and this 0 is known as the origin. This 0 is known as the origin. Now in Cartesian plane, both this x x dash axis and y y dash axis, we can be cross this type x x dash y y dash. Here, before this, here is a 0, positive 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 this one here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so on here 1 2 3 4 5 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 now these two axis x x dash axis is known as abscissa is known as abscissa and y y dash axis is known as ordinary okay and zero is known as the origin now this portion become the positive integer positive integer here is the negative integer and upper portion become the positive integer and lower portion become the negative integer so these are the our two normal line mentioned in our Cartesian plan. Now these two line divided into four parts. Each part is known as the quadrant. Each part is known as the quadrant. So here quadrant first, quadrant second, quadrant third, and quadrant fourth. In this quadrant, you First, we take some coordinate means x, y. x, y is known as the coordinate to solve this or set up the graph paper. Means this from the always first we take the x axis. So this x axis become the positive, y also positive. So first quadrant becomes positive, positive. Then second quadrant become the first x is the negative, y is the positive. So it's one negative. Positive. In third quadrant, x axis also negative, y also negative. 
So minus minus and fourth quadrant is on the past x x is the positive, y x is negative, so is the positive, negative. Okay. Now, student, open your book example one. Open your exam book example one. On the page number fifty seven, their backside page in page fifty eight. Given the graph and saying the find the oscilla and coordinate of the point B. Oscilla coordinate point B. Oscilla become the four and coordinate become the three. Ordinate become three. Oscilla four and ordinate ordinate become the three. So coordinate of B is four three. Then second. X coordinate and Y coordinate of the point M. X coordinate become the minus three and Y coordinate become the minus four. Sorry, M coordinate become the Y coordinate become the only four, not minus four. So they are coordinate of M is the minus three four. Then third, be given X coordinate and Y coordinate of point L. X coordinate become the minus five and Y coordinate become the minus four. So coordinate of L is the minus five minus four. Okay. Then four B the X coordinate and Y coordinate of point S. Point S the X coordinate is first X coordinate is the three and Y coordinate the minus four. So coordinate of the S is the three and minus four. Okay, then look at the example two. Example two given write the coordinate of the point mark on the axis. The point mark A, A is the on the line, so their coordinate is the four zero. Due to y coordinate is nothing here, so we can be mentioned with the zero means origin. So y coordinate zero and x coordinate four. So their coordinate become the four zero. Then find the coordinate of B. Coordinate B the zero three due to x axis present on the zero. Then the coordinate of the C is the minus five zero. Coordinate of the D is the zero minus four. Did you first we take the x co coordinate? Then coordinate of E, coordinate of point is the two by three zero. Okay, and origin origin coordinate is the zero zero. Okay, then your exercise three point two is over.